think UW-Madison changes the world in so many ways. UW-Madison is special because it embraces everyone. It belongs to all of us. What makes UW-Madison special to me is that it's an environment where people really want to nurture each other and bring out the best. I think University of Wisconsin-Madison impacts the world primarily in two regards. One is its incredible breadth of world-class research coupled with this enormous, passionate, and uh, viciously proud set of Badger alumni who are also located globally. The University of Wisconsin-Madison is committed to the highest quality of classroom teaching, research, and public engagement. And I think that the university is really uh, leading the charge in how we want to see uh, our community grow, our community be healthy, our community be uh, successful. Uh, the breadth of uh, connections that this university has, both in research, industry relations, alumni, isn't surprising at all, but it is truly inspiring. Just learning about what is happening in these walls, it's amazing. People who have been here, who've researched here, who've been students here, who've been alumni here, they have gone out and done these incredible things. And I think they've changed the world not only on this big global scale, but also interpersonally in their communities, in relationships that they've had, in corporations, in community groups. Um, the people from UW-Madison are really, I think, special. There's a huge ripple effect to what happens at Madison. We produce Peace Corps volunteers. We produce CEOs of businesses. There's almost no university you could visit around the world where UW-Madison would not be prominent among their tenured faculties. I think we have to start with the Wisconsin idea. The very sincerely held commitment to being part of our community in our state, serving our community in our state, learning from our community in our state. I think that's what really sets UW-Madison apart. All that we do has to be done for the common good. And so it's doing that not just for the citizens of the state, but also for the country and for those outside of her borders that we can't even see. I think we've always taken seriously our commitment to diversity and equity and justice, and I see those being our North Star for the future as well. But to me, it does feel like there's this kind of giddy energy always when you get a new leader that anything is possible, that we can make changes, we can do new things, and that opens up this kind of limitless possibility of what we can do as a campus. She was so excited about the opportunity from the beginning. She is, uh, a big believer in the, in the mission of public education. I have always admired Jennifer's breadth of intellectual curiosity, her keen analytical mind, and her deep passion and commitment to public higher education. I think I'd start with collaborative and inclusive. She's someone who has uh, incredibly high IQ and incredibly high EQ. And I've always known her to be courageous and ambitious for the institution where she is a leader. It really stood out that she is a big thinker, uh, creative human being, um, and very compassionate in her thoughtfulness. She's also really strategic. She's a great strategic thinker. She is extremely high energy, as anyone who has ever met her or spent time with her knows she's indefatigable <laughs> and she gets energized by the job. I have witnessed her connecting uh, successfully with everyone here from my fellow deans to our students to our faculty to people in the community and we are as a public university dedicated to serving everyone in our state that's what the wisconsin idea is about in those early engagements in madison and then out in the state i think you saw the chancellor right away embracing the diversity of wisconsin and also embracing the wisconsin idea and recognizing that lifting that and sharing that is important, not just to the citizens at the state of Wisconsin, but to the country, to the world. It's really important to listen and learn at the beginning. And I think there are lots of reasons for that, to, to really move an institution forward. You have to understand it, and you have to understand 
the characteristics and the aspirations of the people who are there. So Jennifer Style is inherently consultative. Uh, she listens to what others have to say, oftentimes pressure tests uh, the recommendations she hears, and but she chooses the best solutions without any ego involvement. I really feel like she brings a spirit of collaboration and that she'll build something together with us. One of the things that really stands out to me is that she asks questions about who we are, what we're passionate about, what we're doing right now to pursue our dreams. And the fact that she asks questions and clearly can retain them uh, shows how invested she is in each of us. I was really excited that from the beginning, she came with an open mind to listen to what we were doing with the Public History Project. She came to learn. And that really, I think, speaks to her leadership skills. I think it speaks to the she's willing to take risks, she's willing to do something bold and new, and she's willing to kind of stand by it. This chancellor is committed to doing what's right for Native people, and you know, everyone who surrounds her is committed to doing what's right for Native people. She's a, a boots on the ground type of chancellor, and uh, she's seen by our student athletes, and I think they appreciate the fact that, that she's there and, and that she shows her support for them. Well, Jennifer came into a good situation. Becky Blank handed this off uh, in great shape. And I think Jennifer's ability to build relationships with key stakeholders is going to serve us well and might open up some possibilities that we haven't had up to this point. The work that the previous chancellor uh, was able to um, create uh, now is uh, enhanced by the work that I see that Chancellor Marnukin is, is really uh, pushing us to do not coming in and thinking that you need to remake the place entirely, um, being curious about, attentive to what's working well at the university, and then calling on us to push forward, right? Calling on us to keep pushing to be better and better. I think as a lawyer, she's trained um, to listen, to read, to digest, to evaluate before she reaches a decision. It is a job that requires you to identify after listening to a lot of people, um, what you think is the best direction, and then being able to explain why um, you believe that's the best direction. And I don't think Jennifer will have any trouble with any part of that. I think Chancellor Manukin has a special capacity because of her training and the work that she's done leading a law school and is a legal scholar to really appreciate where people are coming from especially where they have different points of view. And I think that is a, a really important asset to have in a leader. These jobs have nonstop challenges that require thoughtful and steady leadership. She has these qualities and, and UW-Madison is lucky to have her at its helm. Right. We are training the next generation of leaders. And I think Chancellor Manukin sincerely understands that. Um, and she's going to continue to seek out ways that this university can educate that next generation. Her perspective, her uh, energy, her uh, ability to relate and communicate with others, um, her creativity and, and uh, her leadership will, will result in moving this university forward in a great way. Everybody is rallying behind her and is willing to do everything they need to to support her and her leadership and we will work together to be successful with this great university for another hundred years or thousand years. I think she's going to be terrific. Like I said, these jobs are not easy um, and it takes a special person to succeed, but Jennifer is that special person. She's just the greatest person I can imagine to lead the University of Wisconsin. I am on a campus that is changing for the better. I think we have a very bright future ahead of us. I think the future of UW-Madison is incredibly bright. So bright we have to wear shades. <laughs>